What's going on lads? It's your boy Cameron here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So, today we are doing a challenge rebuild type thing. We are going to be choosing a random team and then trading away everyone that's not above 85 overall. So the basic gist, first season we trade away everyone who's uh, above an 85 overall and we try and get better players who are under 85 and that could probably progress uh and then after that first season uh, th that we can just let them progress and to see how high the team can get so basically we would like looking for players who are below 85 overall and have high potential so that way they can go higher into you know just higher see how high they can get and see how well we can do so basically the first season all the players have to be under 85 well, not under 85, but 85 and under. So they can be an 85 overall, but they can't be an 86 and above. So we've got to try and get players who are 85 and young and uh, lower and see what could happen there. So we, as you guys can see, we don't have a team. So let's pick out a team here. Let's hope it is a team with good trade value. Three, two, one. The Rockets. We have got the Houston Rockets again. We are in start today, so it's up-to-date rosters. So it's got to do all this synchronizing stuff. But I have just done a Rockets rebuild challenge uh, last at the end of last week. Uh, I did one, and it was a Rockets five-minute rebuild. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It should be on my channel page. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. We are at 620 as I am recording this. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys could show support and just hit the subscribe button. Help us get to a thousand subscribers it would be absolutely amazing but let's get straight back into this video for this team we have two players who are over 85 overall and that's Harden and Westbrook so we've got to trade those guys away for hopefully some guys some young guys wait we can't do that yet so we have to wait until after this season but uh yeah so on this team we have Harden and Westbrook who we're gonna to have to trade away and then we're probably gonna be moving almost everyone here to try and get you know a little bit of trade value and try and get better players who could hopefully progress into someone very very good so i'm going to simulate the rest of this season um i'll see you guys with the off season or the playoffs probably i'll show you i'll show you guys the playoffs who wins the finals and stuff all right so we finish as a three seed we've taken on the rock uh, the nuggets in the first round i'm just going to simulate these playoffs i don't really care too much because the challenge really starts at this upcoming off season but it's always nice to see who wins the finals and stuff so uh, i'll keep simulating this and just talk over it so like i was saying before the season ended uh we do need to have have to, we have to trade russ and harden so that's going to be a lot of fun to do you know I don't necessarily, yeah, like, uh, I don't like getting, trading Harden because he's really hard to trade because no one wants to give him, uh, no one wants to trade for him because he's classified as a superstar and no one really trades for superstars, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, but we do get eliminated in the Western Conference Finals against the Lakers and it is a Celtics-Lakers Finals and the Lakers win in six and LeBron James wins Finals MVP. So now the challenge really begins. Once the trade, once we can start making trades, that's when the challenge begins begins uh lottery picks no we don't and we don't have a i don't even think we have our first do we oh no we don't we don't have our first do we no the nuggets have our first yeah because we gave that away in the clink capella four-way trade didn't we uh staff signing we just need a new trainer and we should be okay if we just grab up a new trainer justin sure we'll go justin and our assistant gm we are going to go with michael williams and we should be all good. There we go. Um, let's go down to the draft and then we can start trading. And then we can trade away Harden and Westbrook. So Harden, we can't trade. And Westbrook, we can't trade yet. So as soon as I can, I'll try and trade them. But I can't trade them yet. Uh, so we're just going to... We do not have our first. I don't even think we have a pick. So we skip over the rookie signings and we'll go to team player options. Austin Rivers declined and I'll bring back Ben Macklemore on our team. Qualifying offers, I don't really care too much about those two. And we should be a o. Okay, Mortatorium. Do we have anyone here? Austin Rivers. Yes, I'll re-sign Austin Rivers. That would be pretty good. And uh, I think we should be all right if we just re-sign Austin Rivers. Uh, so what do we need? We got two point guards. Shooting guard we could probably grab up unless we played Eric Gordon there. Covington. PJ Tucker. Okay, I'm going to be okay now. I'm just going to simulate down to... Oh, uh, wait, hold up. Let's just simulate past free agency. Let's just go to player progression. And then we can see uh, if we can trade Harden and Westbrook. If we can trade those two guys, that would be amazing. Because that's the entire, that's those, those are the only two guys that we can trade. So Harden, we can trade for RJ Hampton and D'Angelo Russell. 
we'd then have to trade away D'Angelo Russell because he is not a 86, he's not an 85 or below. Uh, so that's the best bet offer we get. Can we, what about Westbrook? We can get Tobias Harris and Josh Richardson, which is decent. Wendell Carter and Otto Porter, not so much. When, is Otto Porter? Otto Porter's still on that big deal. All right. Uh, Chris Aspazingas is too high overall. Jamal Murray is too high. Uh, we could do that trade. Uh, Kyle Lowry is an 85. I don't think he's pretty progresses though. D'Angelo Russell isn't is nice, but he, we can't get it. We, well, we can. We just have to trade him away again. That's the thing. So if we do go that one, so I'm actually gonna go that trade and then see what I can get for D'Angelo Russell uh, because we can't have him on our team. If only he was still an 85, but he's gone up to an 86. Uh, Kobe White, we could get Kevin Love. Uh, Rudy Gobert's too high. Buddy Hield and Rashawn Holmes, not bad, not bad. Jamal Murray's too much. Brogdon. That's not bad. Brogdon's below. Oh, we can get Derek Rose and Blake. Oh, he has to give up Covington. I don't want to give up Covington. Uh, and De DeJounte Murray. That's actually decent as well, DeJounte. Uh, so DeJounte Murray, I know he progresses. Then we could trade away Paddy Mills. But I don't want to give up that first. That's not bad. I'm going to do that. I'll get DeJounte Murray. He can be our starting point guard. And then we've got Eric Gordon. That's a huge contract there, Eric, bro. Uh, then we trade. Can we, what can we get? We can't get anything for James Harden yet. So... Uh, let's just go down to training camps. Uh, again, once we hit training camps, I'll try and find another trade for James Harden. Two training camps. We're going to go down to untapped potential. We're going to give it to DeJounte Murray. And we're also probably going to give it to... Uh, there's really no other young guy that I want to give it to. Like, I'll give it to Covington. Just because we don't have another young guy that we can use. Let's advance to the next season. And then we'll see what we can get for James Harden. Yep, sign up some guys there. That'd be nice. So now we can have a squiz to see... Does James Harden get us anything? No, he doesn't. What if we move James to the point? If we move James to the point, can we now get trade offers? We can. We can now get trade offers. We can get Tobias Harris, which I don't want to do because I don't want to give up Robert Covington. Kemba Walker and Jalen Brown, that's okay because then we could trade away those two guys for someone else. Uh, Ingram would have been nice <laughs> earlier in the season, but he's now an 86 overall. Plus Lonzo Ball, that's not bad. We can get Westbrook back, plus we have to give up DeJounte. I'm not doing that. We can get Ben Simmons and Tobias. Um, at the moment, I'm thinking this one because then I think I could probably get more trade out of, trade value out of those guys. So I'm sorry, James, but you are no longer on our team. So Kemba Walker, an 87 overall. Can we find an 85? If I could trade for Zion or John Morant, that would be amazing if we could do... Ooh, Victor Oladipo. That's pretty good. Uh, if I could get John Morant... That would honestly be amazing. So I'm going to try and find, try and, try and get John Morant. Wait, let's just check the, his overall first. Oh, he's an 87. No, we can't get him. What about Zion on the Pelicans? Zion is an 86. Okay. So we can't get Zion there either. So that's that actually sucks. All right. So we're going to have to do this and try and find someone who's below. Like at the moment, Tobias Harris, plus we get a first. Uh, Zach Levine is not high, is too high. Uh, Buddy Hield and Rashawn Holmes. Uh, Vukovic, that's pretty good. We get a center, plus we get Ro Rodney Hood, who we could trade away. Pazingas is too high. Uh, Oladipo, like, I'm liking this Oladipo trade. Uh, but then, do we, yeah, because we have or Jajonte Murray and Victor Oladipo backcourt. Hmm, I like seeing that. I like seeing that. That would actually be really good. And then we have to get rid of Jalen Brown as well, because he's an 86. So we're going to have to get rid of Jalen Brown where we could get Tobias. Chris Middleton's too high. Uh, Brandon Clark, he's a young guy that could uh, potentially progress. Um, Buddy Heald doesn't really progress that well in this game. Malcolm Brogdon, I think if we move into shooting guard, he goes too high. Uh, Blake Griffin, Kyle Lowry, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge is an 83 overall. Culver, CJ McCollum, that's pretty good. That gives us a shooting guard who can shoot. Uh, but we need a small forward, don't we? Like, Tobias Harris is looking like probably one of the better bets. Uh, where's Jalen Brown there is? So if we move to small forward, he goes up to an 87. And then we can move uh, Jalen Brown here for someone here, hopefully. Let's 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 hope. Tobias is still there. Clay, really? We could get Clay Thompson. DJ, we don't need uh, anyone like... Ooh, Steven Adams is a really good center for... Who's below an 85. But then we could probably just get Vukovic. Kemba Walker, we can get back. Jonathan Isaac. He's nice. Uh, plus, we get Aaron Gordon with that deal as well. Do we have a center? That's the thing. We don't have a center, proper center, do we? So, I'm going to go after Steven Adams. Because I think Steven Adams is, gives us this proper center who we can play at the five position. So, I'll go after Steven Adams. Even though he's on a big contract, I am going to go after Steven Adams plus a first. He should be a nice pickup for us. So, now we've got two. We got uh, decent. We got two. We got three guys who we can play. 
So Eric Gordon and Covington. Oh, and Covington. We do have Robert Covington, who, if I move to the small forward, he goes to an 86. Okay, okay, okay. So we could probably sort something out here if we go Eric Gordon plus Robert Covington. Can we look for a small forward? So Tobias Harris is there. Or Gordon Haywood. So Tobias Harris is... Or Jonathan Isaac. He does progress. Kemba, we can get back. Um, so it looks like Tobias Harris... We can get CJ still. CJ is a bit undersized to bit play the three. So at the moment, I'm looking at Tobias. Tobias, Gordon Haywood. Plus we get Robert Williams with that trade. That's the thing. I'm looking for depth because that's how we're going to be winning here. Depth and young guys. That's what we need. Uh, Jonathan Isaac, he's young. Um, we probably could bring him back. Who's... Plus, we get Aaron Gordon. That's decent. Decent. But at the moment, I'm looking at this Tobias Harris deal because that gives us a small forward straight up. And then if we go back here, do we we do get a small forward in Isaac. He's only one overall lower, plays better defense. Can he shoot? He can shoot. Yeah, all right. I'm going to do this. No, I don't want to give up a first. If I can do this without giving up a first, I will do it. Oh, I don't want to give up that first, but we're going to probably have to. I'm going to do this trade because we get Aaron Gordon with that as well. So if we go here, what's our starting five looking like? That's that's, that's actually a really decent starting five, you know? That's decent. I mean, we could probably upgrade from Aaron Gordon. Wait, no, could we? I'm going to have a look. See what guys are actually higher than Aaron Gordon. So we could go after like a DeMontis Sabonis. That would actually be a good pickup. So we could go after John Collins, Sabonis, or Jaron Jackson Jr. I think we could probably pull off getting either Collins or Sabonis. And I'm leaning more towards Collins. Because he can play... Does he play as good a defense as... Or oh, Jaron Jackson Jr. plays better defense, though. So I'm going to go after Triple J. See what goes on here. So if we can get... I think Jaron Jackson Jr. has a lot more trade value, though, I'm guessing. Because, uh, yeah, he has four stars. So I'm going to try my best to try and get Aaron Gordon. <laughs> uh, do, you, do the Grizzlies have a stupid contract they want to give up? Yes, they do have Gorgie Dang. Uh, I will also give you... Do we have anyone with trade value? <laughs> I'll give you DeAnthony Melton. Will you guys do this valuable asset? I will give you this first. And that first. And three firsts for Jaron Jackson Jr. Really? Huh. Do you guys have another guy that's not as val valuable on a bad deal? Kyle Anderson. I'll take on Kyle Anderson. Grizzlies would acquire four mil more. Oh, okay. Illegal because the Grizzlies. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. I'll just give you Chris Clemens then. And then I'll give you those firsts. And hopefully this works. Come on. Come on, Grizzlies. Okay, then let's just go to Trade Finder and see what goes on. Will you guys just do this? Uh, if I go like this, what? Nothing. Okay, geez. All right, I'm going to sort something out here. I'll see you guys when I have uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. or John Collins. I prefer Jaron Jackson Jr. Okay, so I found a trade here for Aaron Gordon. It's not Jaron Jackson Jr. or John Collins. I tried my best to do it. I even moved PJ Tucker to the small forward, as you guys can see, but we cannot get PJ. We can't get um either Jaron Jackson Jr. or John Collins. So looks like we are just going to pick up Malcolm Brogdon here. And then we have to... So what are we doing here? So Brogdon's probably coming off the bench at the moment. Yeah. So I'm going to go Brogdon and Mills or Melton. I'll go Brogdon and Melton. And uh, could we then get another power forward? Because Tobias Harris is good. Kevin Love, uh, go Bear. I'm thinking oh, Covington, Derek Rosen. Is that Blake Griffin? That is Blake Griffin. Mm. Carl Lowry, Lamarcus Aldridge. We can move the power forward for a bit. I know he regresses though. So Tobias Harris is probably best bet. So I'll pick up Tobias. Not the greatest. I tried to avoid it, but I did eventually pick up Tobias Harris. And then I'm also going to move... Uh, ben Macklemore with the Tobias and see what goes on here because Yeah, if we can pick up a power forward that would be really really good like Marcus is there Blake Griffin is there Vukovic is the good we could probably oh no he probably goes up at the power forward uh, um Unless we just kept him there unless we kept him there. I think if we move Tobias he's an 85 isn't he? No, he goes down to an 83 so it looks like we're gonna go like this. If we keep Tobias, he is our starting power forward, so that's okay. Uh, we do just need to work on the bench, uh, which I could probably do off camera because we've got a lot of small forwards. So we could probably keep a uh, trade like House and McDermott. And uh, I'll, I'll do one more trade and then if... Uh, and then I'll probably cut it and I'll see you guys at the rotation probably. But for now, I'm just going to look for a backup center if possible. Brook Lopez is very, very good. Ooh, Bismarck Biombo. We get Denzel Ballantyne with that too. Bailitza. I'm looking for guys that will probably progress instead of regress. 
Uh, like, Brook Lopez is nice, but he's probably going to regress. Uh, Shabazz Napier and Alec Burks. That gives us a backup point guard and a backup shooting guard in the same one. So that's really, really good. And then if we go here, what do we do? What have we got here? So we've got a backup shooting guard, so we don't need uh, Alec Burks. And then we've got two. we got so many guys coming off the bench. So we don't need Napier or we don't need Mills or Lamb. I preferred Lamb and Napier coming off of our bench. So Burks and Mills, we could probably uh, trade away for another big man because we do need another big man here. So if we go down here, if we go to uh, Burks and Mills, we could trade these two guy away for a big man. We need Al Horford. That's a big contract though for an 81 overall. Uh, Tristan Thompson and Thad Young. Nice. Uh, Kelly Olenek, Ke Cody Zeller and Bismack Biyombo, uh, Alex Len, Hollis Jefferson, Tim Hardaway Jr., Gary Harris, JJ Redick, Colleague Stein and Derek Jones Jr. That's nice because that gives us a backup center and then a backup small forward, which we don't need. We'd prefer a power forward if possible. I mean, Derek Jones Jr. can play the power forward, I reckon. Uh, but if we get oh, Al Holford making too much money, I don't want that. He's probably going to regress too. Willie Collie Stein's going to progress, and probably Derek Rowe Jones Jr. is going to progress. So I'm going to do these two here. Hopefully, this all works out. Uh, I think we are all good bench wise. We got Lamb, Collie Stein, Napier, Jones Jr., and Macklemore. I reckon if we traded Jones Jr. and Macklemore, we could probably find a better backup small forward. Another small forward, power forward, anyway. Uh, that would be nice if someone does come up. Larry Nance, uh, Tice, Tice Jones. Looking, oh, Malik Beasley, not bad. Uh, we're looking, oh, TJ Leaf and Tucker. We don't want PJ Tucker back. We don't want PJ. He's going to regress. Um, uh, Larry Nance is okay to come off of our bench because he's a power forward center. Plus, we get Zizic anyway. So, yeah, sure, I'll do that. I'll get Larry Nance to come off our bench. Hopefully, this all works out. Hey, oh, Larry Nance is starting apparently. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. <laughs> Larry Nance, you're not starting, mate. You're keen, I like it, but I'm, I'm not having you in a in starting rotation, mate. Uh, so we got power forward, shooting guard, center, point guard. We don't have a small forward, but we get small forward minutes from both Tobias and Isaac. So we should be okay. And, and Oladipo could play small forward, I reckon, if he could. Uh, he's 6'4", a bit undersized, but he should be okay. So I'll sort out a proper rotation. I'll see you guys when I have a rotation sorted for this first season of the challenge. So I said that I was going to be, uh, you know, <laughs> doing uh, going, doing the rotation and stuff. But as you guys can see, I have been very active since uh, you guys last saw me. But I got DeMontis Sabonis and Aaron Gordon for Tobias Harris because I wasn't exactly a fan of having Tobias Harris there. He is making a lot of money and he's not really going to progress that much during these seasons. So we now have uh, DeMontis Sabonis starting there, who's an 85. It should be fun. We've also got Aaron Gordon coming off the bench, which means we don't need Larry Nance Jr. Or we could try and get trade both of them and uh, see what both of these guys could get us because they're both 79 overalls. Uh, you know, power forwards, we can get an Al Horford. Hopefully, we can pick up someone very, very good. We can get Tobias Harris back. I'm almost tempted to get Tobias Harris back and then just bring him off the bench. I'm all right with that. Just bring him off the bench. I'm okay with that. So now if we go here, we have Tobias Harris starting at the three, which Jonathan Isaac comes off the bench, which I'm okay with. I'm very all right with this now. I'll see you guys when I actually have a rotation sorted. <laughs> okay, so the rotation for this season is a DeJounte Murray, Oladipo, Tobias Harris, Sabonis, and Adam starting five. We then have Isaac, Jeremy Lamb, Willie Colley-Stein, and Shabazz Napier coming off of our bench. Scoring options, Oladipo, Tobias, and Sabonis. Uh, we then have a seven-second system. We haven't changed it there. Power rankings, NBA.com have the Rockets at 11. 2K Sports have us at 9, and Eric have us at 11. So I'm going to simulate this season. I'll see you guys with our record. Okay, so after this season, we go 39 and 43. Giannis was the MVP. Lamelo rookie. Uh, Lamelo also six man. Kawhi defensive. Chris Stapps most improved, and Brad Stevens coach of the year. So Rockets, do we have any? I don't think so. Do we have any defensive Rockets? We don't. Do we get any rookie Rockets? We probably don't have anyone there either. So we don't even make playoffs. That's a bit rough. That's a bit rough. Where did we finish? Because last time I checked, we had a winning record and uh, we were like 30 and 22. It was ridiculous. And then we just missed out on the playoffs by a win. That's a bit upsetting. 32 wins was the lowest in the West. The East must have been buggered, bro. 
64. Okay, it was pretty tight in the West then. It was quite tight. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go across, see how everyone did. No, not league leaders. We want player stats. That's what we want. Uh, Tobias was our leading scorer with 21.1, 4, and 3. And then Oladipo, 23 and 4. Sabonis, 15, 10, and 3. With DeJounte, 13, 5, and 7. With Adams, 12, 10, and 1. So our starting five all put up 10 plus points. Then Jeremy Lamb off the bench put up 10. Uh, 7 from Willie Colley Stein also pulled down about 4 boards a night. Six for Jonathan Isaac and Shabazz Napier and uh, all of that type of stuff there. Team stats, points per game. So offensively, we we were t oh, seventh worst and our defense, I'm guessing, was pretty good. We were the second best defensive team in the league and our differential was a positive, which is cool. Also, also a very good sign. So let's just check the overalls for everyone here. Oladipo is an 86. Tobias is an 86. Adams is an 86, just minus one. Uh, DeJounte Murray is an 85. Sabonis is an 86, minus two. Minus four for Jonathan Isaac, so that's a bit rough. Uh, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 75. So our entire ro uh, rotation is an 80 plus, which is pretty good. But I'll simulate these play playoffs. I'm not gonna probably not gonna make any changes. Just gonna re-sign everyone in the off season. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, if I do make a trade or something like that. But I'm probably not going to. Um, I'm not going to make a trade, I'm just going to try and bring back everyone, and then I'll see you guys at the start of the next season. Alright, here we are. So, we have DeJounte Murray, Oladipo, Tobias Harris, Sabonis, and Adams. That's still our starting five, it hasn't changed. We then have Jeremy Lamb, Willie Colley-Stein, Larry Nance Jr., and Sebaz Napier. You guys got to say, where's Jonathan Isaac? He didn't want to negotiate a trade with us in free agency because he wasn't happy coming off of our bench. Uh, so he didn't come back. That's the only uh, player that we uh, couldn't get. So we replaced him with Larry Nance Jr., who we have already had before, but we traded him away. So that's the team. Uh, let's go across to proficient, not proficiency, uh, scoring options. It's DeJounte Murray, Tobias, and Oladipo. As you guys can see... Uh, players are no longer a a can be below an 85. All I had to do was start with them as an 85, and if I traded for them, uh, they'd have to be below an 85. That's the re that's the uh, criteria. But at so as you guys can see, with Dejounte Murray, he's an 87 overall. So that's pretty cool. Let's check the power rankings. We are a projected eight seed. 2K Sports have the Rockets at eight, and Eric have the Rockets at eight. So. Let's hope, hope we can make the playoffs. I'll see you guys after this season. It's probably going to be the last season of this rebuild. Okay, so for this final season, we did end up going 46 and 36. Giannis was the MVP. Jalen Green, Rookie of the Year. Lamelo, six man. Giannis was defensive. Uh, I am not even going to attempt that name. And Frank Vogel, Coach of the Year. So any Houston Rockets on any of these All-NBA teams? We don't. Do we get any defensive Rockets? We do get DeJounte, who's now an 89 overall. So that is really, really good. All rookie first team, we don't. We, de we definitely don't have any rookies. But we did manage to make playoffs. We are the fifth seed, so that is absolutely awesome. Let's check the player stats here for everybody on the team. Oladipo was our leading scorer with 21.74 and 5. Tobias, 25 and 3. DeJounte, 19, 5 and 7. 13, 9 and 3 for Sabonis. 10, 2 and 2 for Lamb. 10, 9 and 1 for Adams. Uh, Colley Stein, Larry Nance, Shabazz Napier. Uh, we had a very, very all-round team. Points per game. So offensively, I'm guessing we weren't too good. We were 10th best, and our defense was 9th uh, best, and our differential was 8th best. So we were okay. We were okay team uh, stat-wise, uh, team-wise anyway. So now we're in the playoffs. We can actually sort out a playoff rotation. Uh, so let's go here. Adams can get like 34 a night, so bonus 35. Okay, maybe not that many. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Spice doesn't need that many minutes. We could just go like this. We'll give Oladipo, DeJounte, and maybe something a bit like that. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Go something a bit like that. That should work out fine. Simulate round here against the four-seeded Timberwolves. Uh, if we could get past them, that would be amazing. But I'm not expecting anything big. Although, we did take two uh, away from home. And we're 3-0 up. And we sweep past the four-seeded Timberwolves. And we're taking on the one-seeded Lakers. Who I'm guessing still uh, re managed to re-sign Anthony Davis. Davis. Uh, yes, they did. They still got Bron and AD and Demarcus. So, yeah, I'm not expecting us to get past the second round. Then I'm not expecting us to get past the Lakers here uh, because they do have AD and Bron. So, 
yeah, uh, we're up 3-2, three 3-2, two, three two. okay, we're going to lose in 7, yeah, so we were up 3-2, but we lost in 7 to the Lakers, so we managed to push the Lakers to 7 games, which is absolutely amazing, but weren't able to get the dub off, we had the highest overall was DeJounte Murray with an 89, which is kind of cool, uh, we did try and do it, I tried my best, we got really close, that was amazing, I tried my best, I reckon if I had like 2-3 more seasons, let the guys progress, uh, it should be fun, but that's going to do it for me guys, hopefully you guys all have enjoyed this video, if you did, please be sure to smash the like button down below, and while you're down there, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well, like I said at the start of the video, we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, if not earlier, so please, please help the channel and hit the subscribe button if you've made it this far into the video, uh, it'll be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that and you'd have my endless love, that would be amazing, but I'm going to leave it there, hopefully you guys will have a good rest of the day, I'll catch you guys in the next video.